Pranav, just uh, observing the prices for crude oil, it is quite in a range during past few weeks. Any particular reason behind? Uh, crude, if you see, you know, it has been going uh, topsy-turvy kind of moves in oil market. We have seen crude rebounding from 60, 64, then it has got went to 92. Now it has just stuck between dollar 70, 80 in the you know over the past uh, six to seven trading weeks. And this is because the uh, factors that have been coming in from the demand sub equation, the supply equation, all have been keeping the crude in a range so far. But I feel the underlying bias should uh, turn a little bit on the positive side for crude as we move into the upcoming trading sessions. But the factors which we are, which we are discussing and uh, that should reflect on the prices. It should move up but it's not happening. Uh, that is the, some factors like supply side factors if you, you know, look into it. We have uh, one hand we have the OPEC producers which have been cutting outputs. You know, they are doing it since last two, nearly two years. Then we have the uh, Russia-Ukraine issue which has been going on, recent the Middle East tensions, the Israel-Hamas war. So that has definitely you know, uh, reduced the output, reduced the supply from the OPEC region. But in contrast to that, we have the non-OPEC supplies. The supply from uh, US is, has been increasing. US is producing at record 13.3 million barrels per day. So that is offsetting the higher output from US is offsetting the supply uh, you know, cuts from the, or the, the reduced supply from the OPEC region. So that is why the supply balance is still intact. You know, one side cut, another side it has been increasing, so the supply balance remains intact and that is what is you know keeping the oil market stably very well supplied currently. So what do you think? I mean this prices will be remain in range for some time or what is the outlook for next three, four months? Uh, if you see the outlook going ahead, possibly we may see the prices continuing with this range. Demand side drivers, we have seen interest rate hikes from 0 to 3, 5.5 in US, 0 to 5 percent in UK. So if this interest rates are likely to stay higher, we may see continued slowdown in the global economic activity. And this slowdown will curtail the demand as well. Because you know, if the economic wheel starts running in, then the demand will start increasing. But if that is slowing down, the demand is also slowing down, the supply remains in balance. So the outlook for next few months, we see prices finding support around dollar 68, 670, that is the WTI, and close to dollar 80 to 84 on the higher side, that is on the WTI front. If we speak specifically for Indian markets. Prices could find bottom around 58, uh, 5900, 5700 uh, supports and resistance could be around 6900, 7100 levels. So that is the broad range within which we can you know, expect the oil prices to trade. Yes, the moves are likely to remain stable going ahead. If you know if something more happens on the Middle East front, if you know the war starts getting escalated, then we may see prices going up. But until then, or rate cuts start coming in, we may see uh, you know, the demand start going up, then we see prices witnessing some spike. Otherwise, I don't see a bigger up move in the oil market. Okay. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.